In the video about primary and secondary sources, we mentioned peer review. Here's some information about what this process involves. Before an academic submission goes for publication, it goes through this process called peer review. Think of this as a scientific quality check. Here's how it works. Scientists submit their paper to a journal. The journal editor, an expert in the field of study, does an initial review. This is where what's called desk rejection can happen. If the editor thinks the paper isn't a good fit for the journal or it has major flaws, they might reject it without sending it to reviewers. This saves time for everyone involved. If the paper passes the initial review, the editor sends it to other experts in the field. These experts review the work and suggest improvements. The authors make changes based on this feedback. Then, if the editor and peer reviewers are happy that the paper now meets the journal's quality standards, it gets published. This whole process helps ensure the research is solid before it hits the scientific community. It's like having your lab report checked by not just one, but several professors before it's graded. When we talk about peer review, we are typically referring to articles published in academic journals. These can be either primary or secondary sources. For example, an original study or a review article. Books, including textbooks, are not usually peer reviewed. You can visit the publisher's website to find out more information about their editorial process if you have any questions. In Omni, the library search tool, you can filter a search to include only peer-reviewed items. Watch our next video to learn more about using Omni to find high-quality sources for your assignment.